Hi. It's Wednesday. Kids went back to school. Yes. Cabinets. So you saw me yesterday, or last night, whenever, the previous video from this one, you saw that we raided a house and got a whole bunch of cabinets. Well, these are the ones that weren't really going to work in my kitchen, but I couldn't pass them up, so I got them. So uh, you saw that I mounted three. Well, I now have mounted another one, cut the shelves in, and I put a fifth here. So this station, this is all the stuff I used to make my old um, epoxy and uh, molds and stuff like that. And I figured I'd hang the uh, stuff on the side, the buckets that I use. And then just random molds, just stuff to get it out of the way off my bench right now. The new stuff that we're going to be working on, you're going to see uh, videos in the near future. Uh, some of my homemade vac forms and some of the other ones that I've purchased. Uh, my homemade, you know, homemade trim jig, trim jig, trim jig, trim jig, you know, all the homemade stuff. And then I literally just put this one up before I started filming. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw some tools in there right now. And I got to tell you, I just bought this the other day because I'm doing some trim in my house. And this freaking thing, this freaking thing is awesome. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to using that some more. I nailed a couple cabinets together with it. But, yeah, I am beginning to like it. I got, obviously, the airline hooked up and I'm gonna have to do something on the back because it's kind of ugly from this side like when you first walk in so I got the door here and then that's what you see when you walk in so this right here is a um, oh god this is an eight foot by six foot bench that is just plastered with stuff right now and this is a four by eight bench attached to it so I'm gonna have to figure out something to do right here I don't know we'll see definitely gonna be some uh, fun stuff or hang up flags or sticker bomb it. I, I just don't care. We'll see. But today is September 1st, which is a very freaking awesome day in my life. As of last year, one year ago, 365 days, I quit my job as a electronic. It was a microelectronic assembler. Uh, pretty much I built Infrared night vision, missile defense systems, uh, targeting systems. I built AC suits. Uh, I did all the electronics. I ran an x-ray, uh, an automated optical inspection machine. I did a whole bunch of stuff. We built things that aided in killing people for the military. I was there for 12 years. I quit that job because they wanted me to wear a mask. And that was just kind of the end of it. But that's neither here nor there. Or there. Uh, I quit my job because I wasn't going to do that. And I have been working for myself full-time doing holsters for one year today and uh i gotta say i am super pumped proud of myself and uh it's all because of you guys so fans customers buddies acquaintances everybody in my life thank you because well a lot of long hours is making it happen but with your support it's it's a lot easier so uh but to celebrate my one year i'm gonna do more orders you can see there it is that pile uh, right there. That pile right there is seven or eight orders that I've done today. I just mowed my lawn. It's starting to rain right now. So we're doing a Ruger 5.7 with Olight Balder Pro. Um, oh, I lied. It's with a Streamlight TLR1. So I'm going to take that off. We're going to do the uh, Ruger 5.7 with a Streamlight TLR1, which I just broke today. So I had to order another one because I'm not going to bother fixing this. Uh, so we're just going to do a simple outside the waistband and carbon fiber. Let's do it. The Streamlight that I have been using for six years is broken. This piece is shattered here. And I have it taped just so it stays on and so I can get the distance. You can see it still moves a little bit. And today, I stripped out and shattered this mount in the inside. So I have it wrapped in a ton, and I mean a ton, of Teflon tape. And just enough so we get it to hold. But I had a breakdown today. Drop another 120 bucks on this new flashlight. But I also, there's more lights out there. So we just picked up the TLR7 sub. Uh, this one is for the Sig Sauer firearms. Uh, it's, it's very specific. I did not know that before I ordered it. Um, but this one's for the 365 and 365 XL. I also ordered the flashlights for the um, Glock 43X MOS and the 48X MOS. 
and uh, the 1913 Universal Rail. So I believe it fits on Hellcats and stuff like that. So these are 150 bucks a piece, or like one anywhere between 136 and 150, depending on which mount you get. And you can find them on Amazon, which I'm a dealer, and I still get lights cheaper on Amazon than I do from the other factories. So uh, Streamlight, you guys rock. Keep making some good stuff, and I'm gonna make holsters for them. But let's get the TLR one on this Ruger. Let's make a rig. And if you don't know about the special tool used on stream lights, everybody's got it. It's just a nickel. So uh, don't go too tight on these because you will strip it. Just make it enough so it's not moving. All right, so we're doing a outside the waistband half sweat shield. So it's going to be pretty, pretty slick, I think. Uh, which means, actually, because it's a half sweat shield, we don't have to block for the uh, safety, which is really nice because that's just a lot of blocking. So the only thing we have to do is take care of this. And because of uh, it's going to have belt loops, it's actually going to be a pancake style. Um, so we're going to do a small retention plate at the bottom here and then just press it and go to town. It's going to be in black carbon fiber. And uh, so generally what I do is black on one side and then the outside that shows is going to be carbon fiber. And uh, so this is going to be a right hand. So it's normal normal stuff so let's uh get it going so because this is broken and i'm and i'm waiting on my replacement you can see how this moves well i can either cut the switch off cut this because i have to do something so what i have been doing is been taking pieces of blocking or circuit board or whatever and i've been shoving them inside there so it goes in and holds it just that much more. But I don't know where those are. What are we should be up? Oh, nope. Okay. Let's see how well this goes. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and take care of this. These widgets can be found at shopdiyholster.com or diyholster.com depending on the region you're in. And they sometimes sell these too. Uh, I'm not sure if they still do at the moment. It's been a long time since I've purchase them And we still have the controls to block for, so we will do that as well. Let's see here. I don't like how this little bit is sticking up. That happens. I actually cut a piece specific to that. So I can go ahead and block that just a little bit further. There we go. And get the other side going. There you can see all the Teflon tape I put on it. I really stripped it. I've had it broken for quite some time now. Obviously, it still works for making holsters. I don't need it working. And I probably could have contacted them and gotten a brand new one, but 
I mean, I broke it. It's not their fault. Obviously, with what I do. So, figured. What the heck? Just buy another. So, but like I said, I think this light was 120 on Amazon. You can get them used on Amazon. It'll come in crappy packaging, which as a holster manufacturer, we don't care. And I think they start at like $102 or something like that. Uh, you can also, believe it or not, here's a little tip for you that I learned. Uh, the X300U. Got it right here. You see I got some tape on it, so it's better for holster manufacturing. This light from Surefire is expensive, like 300 plus. It's very popular. Well, I'm not spending $300 on a light when, you know, it's it's used. I mean, I use it quite a bit, but I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, which is the main reason why I don't do Viridian holsters. Now, this on Wish.com is $60 or $80, one of them. And it comes in this package. And it is literally, I have another one here. This one I, I dropped and I bent it. But it is the same body that Streamlight uses, but it's different internals. So instead of a 1,000 lumens, it's like 60 lumens. But as a holster manufacturer, we don't give a crap. So I went ahead and uh, use it, and this is what I use for all my X300 uh, holsters, and I've never had an issue with it. So keep that in mind. You can get deals on Wish.com. But this is uh, actually pretty much blocked. There's nothing on that side, and there's just this. And like I said, it's a half sweat shield, so we don't have to worry about the safety. So uh, we are going to need... This is what I use for my Streamlight TLR, and this... Just goes right here. You could do any which way you want, like so or like so. I'm going to mount it this way. Oop. <laughs> Doing the wrong side. There we go. Put it in the center. And all this is is a quarter inch wood as well. It's not MDF. When I made this, I didn't use MDF. So I, I just haven't made a new one yet. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the material. We are going to load it in here. You see my settings, uh, convection, 400 degrees, and then I just put it to the stay on, so it doesn't matter. Or we could do it in our heat press. Uh, this is a fancier studio, 15 by 15. Uh, since we're doing a two-piece, though, it's going to be bigger than that. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. And we are loaded. But while I have you guys here, if for some reason, actually, I should say, for whoever is diabetic and you have insulin pumps, I am looking for dead, non-working insulin pumps. Um... I want to start making holsters for them. I think it's, uh, I, I've had quite a few people reach out to me, seeing if I could do something. I've done it before in the past, but I don't like putting them in the uh, foam press because it's risk of breaking the pump and whatnot. Plus, I don't want to have you, like, you know, disconnect it from your body for me to make a holster and then to reattach it. I just, I don't want to do that. So if you or anyone you know has, like, a popular company, a popular company, uh, if you have any of their insulin pumps, please shoot me an email or get a hold of me, comment, whatever. I would love to get it off your hands so I could start doing it. Um, and probably once I finish a holster for that model, whoever gave that to me, I will probably send you one for free just for sending it to me. Um, so yeah, let me know. I would love to start doing it. I've been trying to get it for years. I've contacted multiple companies about getting uh, their most popular models. And the best I've got was a uh, dimensions of some of them. And I don't, I rather, I want to physically have it in my hand so I could guarantee that it's what I want to do and how it fits and all that stuff. So if you, or you, so if you or anyone you know has an insulin pump just collecting dust and they're not using it, please contact me and I will take it off your hands. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Let's get that. All right, first tool up, contour gauge. You find these at your local hardware store. You can order on Amazon. Set it all the way to one side. 
uh, and you want to find where your trigger guard is going to be. Uh, generally, I found that with these uh, widgets, there you can see where the trigger guard starts. So, I'll get that in there. This one was a slight cant. And then we'll push that down, and then that'll give you your straight across to the other side. And then we're going to come up and half sweat shield. So we'll stop right about there. And then this is also our mark cut. And we'll do it like so. We're using different clips today. I forgot who makes them, uh, but you can find them on uh, holsterbuilder.com. I don't buy through them much, but I, when I do, it's for onesie twosie stuff. For things that I'm working on but these are uh, the ones I'm going to use today bam you notice they're angled and they work pretty well for what they're designed for uh, so anyways you can notice it's a different Pull it up. this is what we normally do and we see that it won't work so we're gonna have to swap out to this guy rivet wise there. so and as we come straight down Go ahead. I'm not going to do them all, uh, mainly because it's just a waste of a pencil. So I'll line that up and then I'll do it again. And then come back over here. Bam. Bam. And then we know. Uh, generally, when I do outside the waistbands, uh, light bearing. I'll put another rivet on the side, right, right about there. And let's see here. How are we going to do the muzzle? That muzzle ends right here, so we'll probably just go straight down. Like so. And then we'll put a rivet right there. And then what I do is I make a curved mark like so. And that curved mark is so you can still get in your pocket. So you still have access to it. Oh, let's drill it. Take my mounts. And just line up the holes. And then just make sure it holds it in place. And because they're rivets, these are quarter inch holes. And since the two liters separated, I'll throw a rivet on that side. And then move back to this side. gun out, throw it back together, put some rivets in, you only need two, go ahead and clamp it back together, and then take your retention, and then drill the holes. Install the hardware for your retention. And let's install these beauties. There we go. Screw didn't want to go in for a second. Oh, that one. It's not a good screw. Part, go ahead, set all your rivets. Rivet size I am using 
Uh, I used to use 8.8s. Eight uh, now I use 8.9s. And every now and then I'll use 8.10s. So it depends on the thicknesses of what you're working on. But for dual um, 0.080, you would want to use minimum 8.9. I'm sorry, minimum 8.8. Eight. 8.9 eight, eight, is like ideal because you get more uh, rollover onto the back side. So you get a better seal. But if you go too big, then what will happen is it will uh, split. And then you're going to have to do what I showed you in another video. And that is drill them or squish them and pull them. And that just sucks because you got, you know, adds time to your build and then risk of damaging it then you got to start all over again Take our rim oil and our microfiber and clean off all of your pencil marks. I would say that's the only thing I hate about, or one of the things I hate about uh, foam pressing is the fact that, you know, I still, even after all these years, mark out where I'm going to cut things. So maybe I should stop that one day, but sometimes you just gotta, you gotta see the end result. But even though in the Kydex world, the way you want your holster to look, you have to think of that from the very beginning. So technically you need to see your end result regardless. You need to know where you're gonna block, what's gonna be on it. You need to know, you know, where to put your blocking for the attachments, what attachments are already on the gun. There's just a whole bunch of stuff you gotta keep in mind. Just a little bit more left right in the corner. Carbon fiber really stinks. Unless you use like a nylon brush or something like that. You just gotta be careful you don't scratch it. But time to bend the ears. So we'll throw this in and uh, we'll go ahead. Oh, uh -huh. didn't even wipe the back. Alright. And we'll bend these. Normally when I bend stuff, uh, I use the heat strip. You guys have seen the heat strip. If you do vac forming, you definitely have the heat strip. It is this. That's my heat strip. So I have it mounted. Get around my tactical tom here. Get around my bench. I have it mounted at an angle. It's a lot easier to uh, form things when it's like that. Controller knob is right here. Um, but we're not going to use that today. We're going to use the DeWalt heat gun, which is model, here it is, 26950 is what I got. I believe I ordered this one on uh, knife kits. I had one from Home Depot. It burnt out. Bought this one. I think I've had this for like two years. The secret with heat gun. Before you shut it off, you have to, and I can't stress this enough, let them cool down. So this one is adjustable. You could shut the heat off. It will blow cold air eventually. Then you can shut it down. But let's bend. Got in the vise. We're not cranking down on the rivets. We're just making it so it is holding it in place cord and then we're going to heat up directly above the rivets right on both sides so i'll heat this up three quarters roughly uh, otherwise it will get way too hot and then it just melts the kydex instantly 
once you get the shine on the Kydex, it's junk. So, so I'll go a little bit back and forth, and then swap it to the other side, and just remember where you're going to be bending it. So in this case, it's going to be towards me. You do not want to force it. There we go. See how it's falling on its own? All right. And then I take my air gun and I cool it off real quick. And there you go. And then repeat. Now this way is going to be away from us. I can go a little bit lower. There we go. Alright, we're going to load these up. This is quarter inch, quarter inch. And that's done. If you have fat thumbs, this job kind of sucks. But and then we got our half inches right here. Take these out. And so angled, you want the angled side so it looks like so. That way the, the belt goes right over top there's uno and it leaves plenty of room for the belt to pass through without the belt hitting the holster which is the reason why I cut mine as well And there we go. So they're going to slide through, slide through, and bam. And that is an outside the waistband for the Ruger 5.7 with Streamlight TLR. Heel. Yeah. Bam. I also forgot to show you. New product. 50 cal Desert Eagle, right? It also does 357, uh, 44 Magnum, and 50 cal. These are, uh, God, seven rounds, eight rounds, and nine rounds, depending on what caliber it is. Well, I now have a uh, mag carrier for the Desert Eagle. So, these actually are available on my website right now. They start at 35 bucks, and it's you want to carry an extra one with you, you can make it happen. I can even put Molly on it or something like that so you can get it on your vest with MRD attachment on it. So, glad I have these because a lot of people do deagles. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.